This background is fake. But this is also fake. And this and this and this are all fake. Now you may be wondering how I'm able to switch the designs of my studio so quickly. Well, first and first, I don't even have a studio. This is the real background of my video. And I'm going to teach you how to move your background from this to this with just AI. Now, before this video, the only other way you could do this is actually purchasing the items to make your studio very beautiful. But in this video, don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to exactly make this happen with zero cents. The first thing you're obviously going to do is to create your content. Now, while spamming your content, there are two things you should take into account. The first thing, your movement. You should avoid excessive movement. Yes, you could move your head around and you could make hand gestures, but reduce your movement. And this will help us later on in the video. Make sure there is space at your left, at your right and above you. This will also prove helpful in the near future. Now, after filming and taking caution of all these steps, you can now move it into your editing apps. Maybe CapCast, DaVinci, any app you use to edit. Edit your videos as usual. And now here is where the magic begins. I'm going to teach you how to create these backgrounds with zero dollars. So you search for the Adobe Firefly website, link in my bio, and the generative fill feature is what you are going to use. So you click on generate and you are then asked to upload an image in which I'm going to teach you how to do in just a sec. All you need to do this is to go back into your editing software, get a full screen and then print that full screen. Make sure you get a very nice image. This is very important in the near future. You go back into your Adobe Firefly, upload the image and then you then have to select all the parts you want to generate automatically with the AI. Now you then move into ChatGPT to elaborate on the idea you have by creating a prompt for you to put into the Adobe Firefly. I paste my prompt in the Adobe Firefly and this is the result I get. Now if you are not content with this result, you could always click on more to generate other results for you. But I think I'm okay. After being content with the result, you click on download, you download it and after downloading that, so all you need to do now is to make sure the original video is above your generated image. And then we go and select the masking tool and crop our original video to be exactly our size. One thing you don't need to forget is the feather tool. You are going to adjust the feather tool in order to be able to be soft on your skin and also make your lie so better. Voila, you've created an illusion. Now, I mentioned earlier in this video that you should stay away from excessive movement and this is where it helps us because staying away from excessive movement will make your lie sell more because excessive movement might spoil your illusion and make your video like this and that's the last time we want in one of our videos. You don't need to be rigid as I am but you should be more cautious of your movement. Now, I also mentioned that you should leave space at your left, right and your top to be able to do something in the near future. Well, I guess this is the near future itself. So because you're using a free version of Adobe Firefly, there will be a watermark on your video. And to be able to remove that watermark, all you need to do is to zoom. After zooming in, this watermark won't appear on your videos anymore. So that's how I was able to change everything around me from this to something creative without spending a dime. So if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to leave a like subscribe to my youtube channel i'm chef and i promise i only cook that's it